just gonna preference this video saying obviously there's going to be spoilers because it's my thoughts on what's going on during my reading experience so if you haven't read harry potter <laughs> like you haven't um then maybe don't watch this video but if you have then like go for it because there's probably gonna be a lot of spoilers <laughs> And welcome to the return of Jay Reads Harry Potter for the first time, number four edition with dun, 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 the Goblet of Fire. So as you guys know, I am 22 now and I still have not read the entire Harry Potter series. So you guys seem to like my first three vlogging experiences of the first three Harry Potter books. So I figured, since I am reading the fourth book, we would do another vlog experience. So I'ma get my coffee and I'ma get comfy and then I'ma start my reading. Okay, so I'm like 15 pages in and I'm already like fed up right now. Like, who is this Frank character? He's like 77 years old, this little old man. He's like, I'm a fight a dark lord, fuck y'all. Like, no, Frank, sit down. Ice your damn knee or put a hot water bottle on it, apparently. Like, you you ain't gonna do shit to this dark lord, man. Chill. Also, what kind of name is Wormtail? That is so stupid. Anyways, I'm gonna go back to reading, but I am not impressed with little Frank right now. So I just finished chapter six, which is when they're like traveling to get to the World Cup Quidditch thing. They have to find the porthole or whatever it's called, key port, porthole. I don't remember what it's called already, whatever. They see Amos and Cedric Diggory on their way. <laughs> and all I can think is that Amos sounds like anus. So I'm sitting there giggling at that. And then all I can think about is how Cedric is played by Edward Cullen or like Robert Pattison in the movies. And I just keep picturing him sparkling in the moonlight <laughs> like I can't stop laughing about it am I pathetic probably whatever I don't care and then another thing I think would be super cool is the whole apparition thing I feel like this is going to be like a huge part of the story obviously because they've been talking about it for like five pages but it's like where you can transport from one place to another obviously it's going to be important but I think that that would be such a cool thing to be able to do like your girl would be traveling everywhere so I want to be able to do that. Somebody teach me. But like, I don't want to have to do like the test or whatever because like I panic at tests, so I'd probably fail. The Irish Quidditch team just won the World Cup after Crumb caught the snitch or whatever, which is what Fred and George said was going to happen. So like what I am confused about is like, do they have like the time turner or whatever the heck that time traveling thing is called? I thought that Hermione had that and then they gave it back to Dumbledore or like, am I missing something? Am I forgetting something? Cause I haven't like read the books in so long. How did they know this? I would just like to say that Percy Weasley is one of the most annoying people in this entire book. He literally talks and I want to like slam my head against the table. Just everything he says is so like pretentious and he's just like, I'm so smart. My name's Percy. <laughs> like shut your mouth, Percy, before I hit you. Just got introduced to Mad-Eye Moody and I am obsessed with him already. Oh my god, I love him. When he turned Malfoy into a ferret and was like bouncing him on the ground, I was like, yes, pee, -pee get him. So like probably one of my favorite characters now so like Hagrid, Dobby, Sirius, and Mad-Eye Moody. I love you guys so much. <laughs> okay, like super, super serious question. Are Madame Maxime and Hagrid going to be a thing? And like, if not, can they be a thing? Because like Hagrid deserves all the love and happiness. He is such a little precious cinnamon roll. And like, oh my God, he's like crushing so hard. And like my heart, oh my God. Unless like she's bad and then like stay away from my precious angel baby unicorn. But like, if you're good, like, can that be a thing? Like, I just want him to be happy. So I'm at the part where Harry's name like pops out of the Goblet of Fire. I have two guesses about who did it. I'ma say it was either Snape because he wants him to die like Moody said or it was Moody because Harry was able to like withstand the cursed cursey thingy so like maybe he wants to see what else he can withstand i don't know but those are my guesses i'm probably wrong do you get to find out i don't know <laughs> i just want to say that pigwidgeon 
Ron's little owl is like the cutest little owl in the entire world. Like I just picture him zooming around and I'm like, oh my gosh, he's pretty much like me in owl form. I would love to have an owl like him. Just picture those like little beanie baby owls with the giant ass eyes and I'm just like, oh, I want you. Dobby's back. Dobby's back. Dobby's back. Dobby's back. I'm so excited. He is so precious. I just love him so much. Like I know that bad things happen to him, but right now he's alive and well and I just, he's so cute. I just, oh, I love how excited he gets about everything. I just want to hug him. I'm not finding Hermione that annoying in this book, which like if you guys watched my first three vlogs, I hated Hermione. She was like the most annoying character to me. But she's not so bad right now. I'm at the part where we just found out that she's like going with somebody to the Yule Ball, but we don't know who it is. I know this is not a thing, but how funny would it be if it was Dobby? Because she's doing the whole elf thing. <laughs> Obviously it's not gonna happen, but I would die laughing if that was a thing. I wonder who it is though, because I literally can't think of who it would be. Rita Skeeter, or whatever the heck her name is, because I can't remember it, the little journalist lady needs to back the fuck up off of my precious cinnamon roll Hagrid before I throw some hands like, mm, girl, mm, you do not come for my baby angel unicorn, okay? I'm like the mama bear right now. Like I will protect him at all costs and I am not okay with her talking shit. Like she is going down. I hope she gets killed by like Voldemort or some shit. Like just eliminate her, please. Eliminate her. I just got to the point where Snape threatens Harry with like the truth potion and he's like, oh, like it'll make you tell the truth. And I'm just sitting here like, bruh. If I had that for all of my ex-boyfriends, do you know like how much time I would have saved on their lying, cheating asses? I'm just saying like, why couldn't truth potions be a real thing? Because they'd come in handy. I got to the point where Harry and Hermione and Ron go to Hogsmeade and buy Dobby a present and they're like the socks that scream if they get too stinky and I was just like, <laughs> mine would be screaming the entire day because like, your girl got smelly ass feet. So I was just sitting there laughing. I just thought I'd update you on that because these are the things that I find important in Harry Potter, okay? I don't know. Oh my God, guys. Sirius wants to be called Snuffles and like if that does not make my love for him grow like 20 times I don't know what will like he is so cute and such a precious little cinnamon roll and I love him so much and I'm so happy that he's bad I know that bad things happen to him but like let me live my life pretending that nothing bad happens okay I love him so much guys I just met a Niffler and they're like the cutest things ever like I knew they were cute from Fantastic Beasts the one little Niffler snuffled Harry's ear and I was just like I want a Niffler to snuffle my ear like oh they're so cute cute they're like little moles and i'm just like i want 12 of them i just noticed something isn't crumb like 18 and hermione is like 15 isn't that like illegal or is that like not a thing in the uk is that just a canada us thing like i'm confuzzled i'm at the part where crumb tries to hit Cedric with the like cursey thing. So like, is Crumb a bad guy? Or was it like he's just doing whatever Corka, whatever the heck his name is, told him to do? Like, is he like under that one curse where he's like told you have to do this and like you can't get out of it? Is that what's happening here? Or is Crumb like actually a bad guy? Aww, little Harry and Cedric grab the cup together, my heart. Am I allowed to ship them even though like I know Cedric's probably gonna be dead pretty soon? He dies, so. But like, I'm, I'm shipping it. What would their name be? It's like Hedrick. Oh my God, it's almost like Hedwig. Hedrick or Sari shipping them I don't care shut up but they just killed Cedric which like okay if I knew it was gonna happen but like I'm still bitter about it like I liked Cedric I wonder if he still sparkles like when he dies because like he's Edward Cullen you know so like does he still sparkle or does the sparkle vanish these are the things I want to know Wormtail just cut his hand off for Lord Voldemort and like okay cool like that's fine whatever but like it literally happened in like Two seconds. Does JK Rowling not know how like bones and ligaments, muscles and tendons work? Because like I'm pretty sure it would not take one tiny little cut from a little itty bitty knife. Like you won't have to saw that shit, man, okay? It was all realistic until this point, you know? Like <laughs> 
come on, JK, come on. <laughs> okay, so Voldemort's back, right? And literally the only thing that was running through my head as he's like rising from the cauldron was dun 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 Guess who's back? Shady's back. Back again. Tell your friends, but like Voldemort. <laughs> Am I a loser? Probably. I'm sorry. Okay, but like what kind of name is Cornelius Fudge? What were his parents thinking? Like clearly it's the name of a pussy because like this bitch is like terrified of Voldemort. Like calm down. Chill. Like Harry gonna defeat him. We good fam. We good. But like Cornelius Fudge. Ugh. Dumbledore just made Sirius and Snape like shake hands to make it like oh we're friends now whatever but literally all I want to happen is to just like host a boxing match for the two of them and then once Sirius kicks Snape's ass because like it's gonna happen because Sirius is bae I just want to like hold the mic super close and be like finish him the things that go through my head I'm so sorry but like you guys seem to enjoy the workings of my mind so there you go that's what went through my head okay so Dumbledore just asked Snape to do something but we don't get to know what Snape has to do and like I want to know like is he going back to Voldemort like is he gonna be a spy or is he gonna be like turning on Dumbledore and be like yo just kidding I'm a spy for Voldemort but I'm actually a spy for Dumbledore and he's gonna cause all the trouble like is that what's gonna happen I don't know I want to know mm -hmm. I finished it. I'm done. Harry Potter number four. I, I don't know how to feel. Like I have so many emotions right now. I don't know what the heck is going on. This took me over a month to read and I, I don't know if I should just pick up the next one or if I should read all the arcs that I've been sent because like, you know, that's important too. I need to get those done. But like Harry Potter, you know, I'm giving it a five out of five, obviously, because Harry Potter. But thank you guys for joining me on this lovely vlog of Jay reads Harry Potter for the first time as a 22 year old because I started this when I was 21 and it's uh, taken me a while to get through the first four books but you know we going strong. I will see you all in my next Harry Potter vlog when I actually pick up the fifth book. Good. Bye. Ah.